don't have a lot of money I can't leave but I keep running Towards my goals cause I have faith I will unfold my awesome fate I want to see my goals come true Live so free, experience new Opportunities I can see I can live free in unity I don't need a lot of money to my name I don't want to waste my time feeling shame I just want to work towards what I need Pushing forward I can't believe I don't need a lot of money to my name I don't want to waste my time feeling shame I just want to work towards what I need Pushing forward I can believe You can make your dreams so real you can create and go heal Sometimes life will be unreal With obstacles that you may deal You can make your goals come true Live so free and create new Opportunities you can see We can live in unity I don't need a lot of money to my name I don't want to waste my time feeling shame I just want to work towards what I need Pushing forward, I can believe I don't need a lot of money to my name I don't want to waste my time feeling shame I just want to work towards what I need Pushing forward, I can believe your life we can unite it's a good life so let's make it right I don't need a lot of money to my name I don't want to waste my time feeling shame I just want to work towards what I need pushing forward I can believe I don't need a lot of money to my name I don't want to waste my time feeling shame I just want to work towards what I need Pushing forward, I can believe I don't need a lot of money to my name I don't want to waste my time feeling shame I just want to work towards what I need Pushing forward, I can believe I don't need a lot of money to my name I don't want to waste my time feeling shame I just want to work towards what I need Pushing forward, I can believe Hey everybody, it's your bro Luke Feast Back at you with another video Today, I'm gonna write a song I'm going to get onto the lyric writing, writing the chords, the bass and drums on the software, the guitar, the vocals, and the mixing. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to get onto the first part of this music tutorial. I'm going to write the lyrics. Some of you might already know what a verse and a chorus and a bridge is in a song. A verse is a part of the song that is unique from the chorus. And what I mean by that is the chorus repeats itself. So I'm going to go into an example everyone already knows. Smells like teen spirit. The chorus would be the part that repeats itself. With the lights out. It's less dangerous. That would be the chorus because it repeats itself over and over throughout the song. But the verse is a little bit different in the sense that it's slightly different in between the choruses. So the verse would be load up on guns, bring your friends, and then the lyrics are slightly different on the next verse, or maybe there's a different guitar progression, but it's, it's unique in the sense that 
it's different from the chorus in a different way. So I'm gonna start with the verse. I'm just gonna start with, I don't have a lot of money. What rhymes with money? What rhymes, I want, I kinda wanna rhyme something with have and money. I don't wanna just rhyme money. Maybe we could go like, I don't have a lot of money. I'm gonna go, I can't leave. Cause that kind of rhymes with have in a unique way. I can't leave, but I keep running. Now what's the next line we can use? Towards my goals because I have faith. I will unfold a awesome fate. Maybe we can add more to the verse. I want to see my goals come true. Live so free, experience new. Opportunities I can't see. I can live free in unity. Now, I'm gonna get on to the chorus, and this will be the part that repeats itself throughout the song. And I have to think of something catchy. What would be good? I, have, I noticed if I add more words, it kind of makes more opportunity to be catchy. I don't need a lot of money to my name. I don't want to waste time feeling vain. Look at my handwriting, it's beautiful. I don't want to waste time feeling shame. That was sarcasm. I just want to work towards my success. No, that's kind of cliche, I use that a lot. I just want to work towards what I want. I'm gonna push forward. How about I change want to need? Because I feel like I could rhyme more with that. Pushing forward, I can believe, that's better. There, I'm gonna add a second verse. How about I can make my dreams so real? Actually, I have a better idea. Instead of saying, I can make my dreams so real, I'm gonna change I to you. That way it kind of changes the perspective of the song and makes it go back on the audience. I feel like that would be kind of cool. You can make your, your dream so real. You can create and go heal. Create, that kind of rhymes with make. Sometimes life will be unreal. No, wait, sometimes life will be unreal with obstacles that you may deal. Now I have four more lines for the verse. How about we go like, you can make your goals come true and change the, that perspective. Cause then that verse, it says, I can make my goals come true, but we can change it to you can make your goals come true, live so free. We could just copy that. Opportunities you can't see. The perspective of the song is changing. And maybe we can go to we can live in unity. Now I'm just gonna make a bridge that kinda changes the style of the song. The bridge is, you can add a solo for the bridge, which we might do, but you can also add some different vibe to the song, which kind of, that's what a bridge does. It's kinda like the verse, but extra different. I don't know how to explain it. Bridge, um, I can just go like, Create your life, we can unite. Let's make it right. Now, I'm gonna get on to writing the chords. Now, I'm gonna figure out what chords I can use for the song. A good way to figure out some chords is to think about scales. We could have it in a major scale, Or we could have it in a minor scale. Or we could have it in a pentatonic scale. So figuring out what scale we could use really helps find a feel for the song. I'm gonna think about some chords. I think I'm gonna use it in, I don't really wanna use it in a major scale. Maybe I will, I'm gonna use it in a major scale because yeah, whatever. I'm also gonna think about what octave I wanna start on, what root. I think I'm gonna do on the D note. I'm gonna do a speed roll of me figuring out some chords for the song now. I think I'm gonna go to the D chord, and then the G chord, and then the A chord, but I have some variety we can do for that. 
Now, I'm going to get on to adding the bass and drums on a software called Cakewalk. Now, I'm going to get on to the bass and drums on a software called Cakewalk. So Cakewalk is a free software that you can use to add bass, drums, and you can even add other plugins that you can download for instruments. So I'm just going to click, I'm just going to go file, no. And this is where we name the song. I'm going to call it what I need. How about I call it what I need? And it gives you this thing right here. I'm going to go to views, synth rack view, and it gives you this. We can click plus insert synth and here are the options some of these are downloaded plugins so keep that in mind this drum kit that we're going to use is a plugin and i can put that in the link in description basically it is a plugin you download off the internet and you can apply it into this cakewalk software so i'm going to click that plugin we can click ok i'm going to move this right here so this is the drum set we have the, the mixer is how loud everything is, obviously. The grooves is drum beats that are pre-imported into the... So this is the velocity, how loud the drum set is. Maybe we can go heavy. Maybe we can go normal. Now we can add an intro. So these are imported sounds that are in the plugin. And that's kind of slow. We can um, add. We can change the tempo right here under the time. There's a tempo. If we click it, we can change how fast it goes. Maybe we can want it 550 beats per minute. That way, it'll be more like fast-paced. There, and it has like a faster drum beat. We can find a good intro. I'm gonna do that one. Now we can add maybe like an intro. I'm gonna go to the ride symbol, and we can change how long it goes, how many bars it is. I'm gonna go seven bars. I want the velocity normal because I kinda have a soft but not heavy feel for this song. So I'm gonna make it seven bars and not eight because we can add a fill right here. So once you got a nice plan of how you want your drum beat in this little composer part right here, we can bring this down and we can just drag it into the timeline and it goes right here. So now we can add a verse beat. Maybe we can go to the hi-hat. I'm gonna make it seven bars. I'm just drag it into here. I don't have a lot of money. I can't leave, but I keep running. And maybe the drum beat changes a little bit for the second part of the verse. And we can pause it. We can drag that into the timeline. We can use the ride symbol for like a powerful chorus. Maybe we can use like a double snare. I don't need a lot of money to my name. I don't want to waste my... Add that one for the second part. And that can be like a transition that we're going back into the verse. So now we got a verse, a chorus, and a verse. I'm gonna take this arrow and we can copy the verse. Maybe we can add a chorus for like a solo right here. And we can add the bridge right here. Maybe we can add something unique. Now, I'm gonna go to the beginning, and these different segments of the song aren't linked up properly. Right here. So we have to make sure these sync up on beat. And maybe we can add like a symbol, like an ending. So we can go to, so we can go to views, piano roll view. And these are all the drum beats that are linked up in the song. I'm gonna go to draw. I'm just gonna add a bass kick and a symbol. Right there. Now, I'm gonna export the drum beat. So I'm gonna go command all, because for some reason you have to click command all when you export. I'm gonna go file. I'm gonna make it a wave. I'm just gonna go D-R-U-M-S. And then you choose the folder you wanna export it in. Now I'm gonna click this plus right here in the synth rack view and click insert synth and go to bass guitar. And I don't really need this. I'm gonna go to bring this piano roll view up. And I wanted to start on the D note. We can click the draw button right here. So right here is where we're gonna start the song. Now I'm gonna click the D note, and I'm gonna place where I want it. I'm gonna drag it out a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna do D sharp. So we can just start placing the notes for the bass guitar. And we can, now I'm just gonna copy that bass line. And it's the same for the verse. Copy that. And now I'm gonna add the chorus bass line. And the chorus went to, mm, mm, D to C to G to F sharp, I think. D 
And I want the chorus to be faster paced. So it's gonna be D, 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 D. So the, it's gonna go pretty fast with the chorus. So now the verse sounds like this. I don't like that. I'm gonna change the notes a little bit. That's what I'm looking for right there. Now I'm just gonna copy and paste that chorus. I'm gonna just pretty much copy and paste these bass lines until I'm gonna use the same verse bass line for part of the bridge. We can end it with two repeats of the chorus. And then the last bass note can be a long fade out. We can end it on maybe a D note and an F note. Yeah, that sounds good. Now I'm gonna get on to the guitar. Now, I'm gonna get on to the guitar. I'm using a little cord that plugs into my guitar right here, and it also plugs into my PC, and it captures the audio through, a, through the PC. And I also downloaded a free software that a lot of people already know called Audacity, and I'm gonna use that to capture the guitar audio. So let's just do this. So I'm just gonna drag in the drums and the Bass to Audacity. And now I'm gonna go to Tracks, Add New, Stereo Track. And also it's important to make sure the volume is appropriate for when you're picking it up. If it's too loud, it's gonna lose data when you record. But let's say, let's see how loud it is right now. You see, it's really loud and it's capturing too much audio and it's peaking. So I'm gonna turn the audio, the guitar down. Now I'm gonna tune the guitar really quick. It's always good to make sure your guitar is tuned before you record. Take one. That sounds out of tune. Ah, my hands hurt. Up. Now, I'm gonna get on to the vocals. I'm just gonna play the song. I need to do some vocal warm ups. So, some good vocal warm ups. There's one where you can go like. and get all those octaves in. And what I need to do is That helps your enunciation. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. I think I got it. Hold on. I don't have I don't have a lot of money. I don't I like it right there. I don't have a lot of money. I can't leave, but I keep running. Live so free, experience new op. Bleh. See, I can live free in unity. I don't need a lot of money to my name. I don't like that. Unity. I don't have a lot of money to my name. I don't need to waste my time feeling she don't want to work. Oh, god damn it. I don't want, I just want. But that chorus sounds badass. I love that chorus. I know. It's really catchy. My time feeling shame. I just want to work towards what I need. Pushing forward, I can believe. Woo! That was good. Now, I'm gonna get on to the mixing, which is also back on Cakewalk, the same software we use to make the bass and drums. Now, I'm gonna get on to the mixing. I'm gonna go to Cakewalk, the same software we use for the bass and drums. I'm gonna go to that same project you're working on. I'm gonna drag in the files. So we got the drums, I'm gonna drag them in. Rhythm guitar. I didn't film me making the lead guitar, but I did it. I'm gonna go to 
views, and then console view. It'll open up this right here, and it's kind of like a mixer panel. So there's this effect panel right here, and if we click the plus button, we can go to insert audio effect. And down here, we go to guitar, and if we click TH3, it will open a guitar amp thing. We can insert guitar amps. So I'm gonna add a bass guitar amp for this. So now the bass is amped up, man. That's too loud. And now I'm gonna add the electric guitar so we can go the plus audio effect, same thing we did. I'm gonna add this guitar amp right here, modern CH3, and we can drag this stack right here. So this is the amp and that's the stack. Go down to that setting right there. So now it sounds like this. Now I'm gonna add the lead guitar. I like that, okay, that works. Now, I'm gonna insert the vocals. So here are the vocals, and I like adding the guitars before I drop in the vocals. So now, let's see what it sounds like. I don't have a lot of money, I can't. I think I'm gonna turn up the vocals and down the guitar so I can hear, but so they can hear what I'm saying. Thank you for watching that video. We have animation tutorials, media tutorials, tunes, films, and music, so stay tuned and have a great day.